In this video, we will continue our discussion about the steps of risk assessment. We will now focus on Step 4 of the NIST 9-step procedure for performing a risk assessment. Specifically, this step focuses on control analysis, or looking at controls that are in place or plan to be put in place for the system. A control is anything that is put in place to mitigate the risk that is identified to the system. When performing the control analysis, you need to look at two things. You need to look at controls that are currently in place and currently being used. The second thing is to look at controls that are planned to be put into place and used in the near future. Ideally, you will get this information from the documentation that exists for the system and for the project. This information can potentially come from prior risk assessments done. It could be found in system documentation for design and plans for the system. It could be project documentation, or it could be found in policies and procedures that currently exist for the project. If the documentation does not exist, or you cannot find the current controls within the existing documentation, you will have to perform some type of inventory on the system looking at what kind of software, what kind of hardware is already in place to control and mitigate risk. You might also have to perform some type of interview with staff to find out what they know about controls being in place. When looking at controls, they often fall into three categories. Physical controls, technical controls, and administrative controls. Physical controls have to do with those regarding the physical aspects of the system. These could be employee hiring and firing, how you go about adding them and removing them from the system. Control access to servers and computers. How data can be accessed and removed. What kind of backup and recovery systems are in place? Is there monitoring for intruders? And what kind of environmental controls and protections are around critical assets? Are there surge protectors? Are there facilities to deal with fires or floods or storm damage? Is there an uninterruptible power supply? anything that has to do with the physical characteristics of the system. Technical controls look at hardware and software that is used to mitigate risks. This could include virus protection, intrusion detection systems, firewalls, and those kind of things. Are you using encrypted networking protocols? Are you encrypting data on the drives? Do you have some type of security monitoring hardware or software? What are you doing about configuration management? Are there backups? Is there some type of system to keep track of configuration management? Administrative controls mostly fall within the realm of policies and procedures. Do you have those in place? What are the instructions for dealing with an incident? How would your project respond to that? What is your policy on data usage? On privacy? Are there regular risk assessments instructed as part of your procedures? or password policies. Any of these types of things would fall into the area of administrative controls and would need to be documented. In this video, we have looked at making determinations for the types of controls to put in place with the results of the risk assessment and the need to document the results. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website TrustedCI.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI 1234408.